Hey guys, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. My name is Mathis and today I'm reviewing Giovanni's Room by James Bowen. This book was published in the 1950s and this is his second novel. So I'm going to give you guys a brief synopsis of the story. The story is centered around this young American man by the name of David. He is tired and bored of his life. And so he decided to shake things up by moving to Paris. Once he is there, he gets involved with this young woman by the name of Hella. And he ends up proposing to her. Therefore, she goes to Spain to think things through. So while she is there, David, uh, in the meantime, goes to a gay bar with an openly gay friend. And he meets a handsome Italian man who is a barsman. From there, things get heated and messy and yeah. I finished this book within a couple of days. It's very thin, as you can see. So it has less than 150 pages. The writing is very smooth. It's not very convoluted. It's very straightforward. It's really good, guys. If you like literature, you'll like this book. The prose is on point. So David is the lead character in this story. He is struggling with his sexuality. Uh, he doesn't have a very close relationship with his father. They both are dealing with the grief of the loss of his mother. Um, so his father become very distant and very reserved and that has an impact on David's life. And I'm going to read you guys a passage where David is overhearing his auntie and his father getting into this huge argument because his father is um, spending all hours of the night drinking and having sex with other women and uh, his auntie doesn't like that and so um, she's pretty much letting him know that she, he has to step up to the plate uh, to be a father and this is what he says to his sister and listen said my father suddenly from the middle of the staircase in a voice which frightened me. All I want for David is that he grow up to be a man. And when I say a man, Ellen, I don't mean a Sunday school teacher. So he's going through all these emotions on how his father wants him to be. And he, you see him throughout the story, uh, try to live up to his father's expectations. So I like to talk about Giovanni. David's love interest. He was very interesting. I really liked his character. He was pretty cool. He was very funny, very flirty. And so he made a novel really lighthearted and fun. The only problem that I had with his character was that I didn't know what really made him bisexual. Um, the, the author really doesn't dive into his backstory. So I would have liked that his character was flushed out just a little bit more but it was still good. Not only that, I also find that David moved into Giovanni's apartment a little bit too quickly for my liking. I think he moved into his apartment, I say, within days. And so I was like, whoa, that's that's really fast. Anyways, the relationship was seem a little bit too rushed for my liking. But however, it, it it could be possible. People do fall in love with it quickly and yeah. Helen in the story, the the fiance. I really liked her character. She really answered all the questions that needed to be answered. She wasn't all that naive. However, she did have insecurities in the story that I really em empathized with. So, um, yeah, that was really nicely done. Overall, guys, I give this book three stars. It was good. Um, I wouldn't say it was a great read but it was it was very good and very uh, engaging and suspenseful but I'm pretty sure this was groundbreaking during its time during uh, in the 1950s this came out so I can only imagine how controversial this was if I was born during that time I probably gave it five stars also I would compare this book to Elan Harris Invisible Life the two books are very similar so if you like this book you would definitely like Invisible Life. So that's my thoughts on Giovanni's Room. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll talk to y'all later. Alright, bye.